And as high school students get ready to accept their diplomas across El Paso, they're doing it with CPR training on their resumes. KTSM 9 News reporter Susie Castillo here with how one district is helping the students be ready to save a life. Texas law requires high school students to learn CPR skills before graduating at Socorro ISD. It's not just instruction they provide, but hands-on training. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can respond to an accident or somebody falls and gets injured or there's a fight, and a lot of those things happen in everyday life. The state law requires school districts and charter schools to provide CPR training to students in grades 7 through 12 at least once. It doesn't look like he's breathing. Diana Kirk, a criminal justice instructor, shows students the proper way to perform CPR. These are new mannequins that the district just purchased for us, and you notice the lights on them, right? So the lights tell the students, and they tell us as the instructor, that the student is going deep enough and fast enough, okay, to get that blood flowing through the body until advanced care arrives. She says being able to practice on mannequins can make a big difference. Once they can see the lights and they learn the correct positioning of their hands and their body, they realize that it really isn't as hard as they thought. This is awesome. I actually know how to do CPR. I know how to do it on infants and I know how to do it on grown-ups. For Eric Vasquez, it's a skill he's been working to perfect. I knew that was going to be important for me in the future. His father is in law enforcement and is trained to save lives if he needs to. And you say, are you okay? Vasquez says he wants to be a firefighter. I want to save lives. I, I feel like that's the biggest thing in my life. I want to save lives, and I feel like that's the biggest accomplishment for me. New Mexico also requires CPR training for high school graduation. Susie Castillo, KTSM 9 News. Thank you very much, Susie.